Hey, race fans, and welcome to Pocono Raceway for the running of the 5-Hour Energy 500. This is our first race in the Summer Series, so let's get to it. Let's take a look at the top 10 starting lineup. Row 1, we have Red Bell and Superdog 316. Row 2, we have Andrew Sidney and Mr. Phonix Alex. Row 3, we have Sean the Dog 97 and Mitchell Smith. Row 4, we have Johnny Gardner and Connor Breton. And rounding out the top 10 is Trent the Hedgy and NASCAR Attic 24. As we get ready for those famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! And the cars are rolling. I don't see anyone having any problems like last week. Pace cars leaving the track. As we are getting started in Pocono. Red Bell will lead them off. He heading out of turn one, Red Bell has a steady lead. Coming up behind her is Andrew Sidney. And coming up into third, we're trying to battle for third between Superdog 316 and Connor Breton. And look at Andrew Sidney. He is on the bumper of Red Bell. Look like he's kind of trying to go for the lead in turn three. And he's got it. Andrew Sidney is going to lead this first lap. Red Bell's dropped the second. Connor Breeden in third. Trent the Hedgy moved up to fourth. Superdog 316 dropped back to fifth. And here comes Lisa Shears in the fourth. Here comes Mr. Phonix and whoa! Uh oh, yellow flag is out! Yellow flag is out! We got a crash on the track! Yellow flag is out! Here's what happened to burn out the yellow flag. Heading into turn three, Die Cook Brab goes in a little too fast and he clips the left rear of Harvard Kevin 29. And he spins in front of the points leader, Napas Fan 02, but I think he gets away. But Jeremy Britt, he had nowhere to go. The same goes for 75 Chile 16. Raven Ladderus got involved. Barney and Ward gets a little hit. Seventy five Chile 16 just slides, but I think nothing else happened to him as we head up to the front. There's Isaiah Sidney in the grass. But the car that got the worst of it was Jeremy Britt in the 17. And after crossing the line for the to take the yellow flag, this happened. Ty tries to go in the inside, but apparently he didn't see Tanner Klatz in there. And he gets loose. And he just slam slams hard into the wall. And he goes back down onto the track. And it looks like... Whoa, Gov Tracy, he barely gets away. But Intimidator 88 gets a, gets a hit. Into a C4R barely gets away too. But Intimidator 88 collects Jack Nathan, NASCAR and Pest 22, Adam Rose... Harvard Kevin 29 again. Napats Fan 02 again. He got Joe Dyson, his brother Jason, Dougie Shears, Tim Night Rose 22, Isaiah Sidney, 
Barney and Ward and Raven Ladderus. It looks like NASCAR and Pest 22 is going to drive away. And look at Jason Dyson. His car flipped. Jack Naden also flipped. And here comes 75 Chile 16. Does he slow down or get out of the way? Nope. Apparently, he just gets on the gas like an idiot. <laughs> no wonder NASCAR find him. And also, Jeremy Britt. He gets into the back of 75 Chile 16. And here we are back at Pocono as we are under caution. Andrew Sidney, Red Bell, Connor Breeden, Trent the Hedgy, Superdog 316, Lisa Shears, Mr. Phonics Alex, NASCAR Attic 24, Mitchell Smith, and whoa, I harden Naruto. That is your top 10 at this time. And whoa, did a car get out of line? Oh, yep, it's Steam Racer. Steam Racer gets out of line, and he is under the eight, and he is trying to go down to the apron. I guess he's having problems with his car. To check on the cars involved in those crashes, Jeremy Britt is out. 75 Chile 16 is out with a broken piston. Jack Naden is out. Intimidator 88 had a broken header, so he's out. Ty is out. Jason Dyson is out. Isaiah Sidney is out, Dougie Shears is out, Joe Dyson is out, and Adam Rose is out. And it looks like we we have one lap to go under caution. I guess we'll take a quick break and be back when they just about end the turn three. Okay, here we are back at Pocono as we are, are getting ready for the restart. The Pace Camaro is leaving the track. Andrew Sidney is going to lead them off. And we are going to restart this race with five laps to go. Looks like Andrew Sidney gets a good start. And well, we're trying to have a battle for third between Connor Breeden and Trent the Hedgy. And well, Connor Breeden is stuck on the outside. They're headed back to the front now. It's all about Andrew Sidney. He hasn't, um, lately his momentum is getting a little better. He ran in the front during the All-Star Spectacular weekend. But, well, here comes Red Belt on the inside trying to retake her lead. She's trying to capture her first win of the Sega Cup. And she got the lead back. Red Belt will lead this lap. And whoa, look at this. Trent the Hedgy is trying to work on the inside of Andrew Sidney. Trent the Hedgy and Red Bell, they're two very close people. And look at this, trying to have a battle for third now between Superdog 316 and Andrew Sidney. But it looks like Andrew Sidney's trying to get some help from his teammate, Connor Breeden. And look at this, the former points leader in NASCAR Air 24 is trying to get up there as he gets in front of Lisa Shears. And behind him, and behind Lisa Shears is, is Mitchell Smith in the 16. He won Darlington a couple of weeks ago. And, and there goes NASCAR Air 24. I think he's going to try to make a move on Super Dot 316. As we head back to the front, Red Bell is still leading, but Trent the Hedgy, he's right there. He's trying to, he's trying to catch her. Andrew Sidney continues to run in third. Superdog 316 is in fourth. NASCAR Ida 24 is in fifth. Lisa Sears six. And whoa, we're trying to have a battle for seventh between Connor Breeden and Mitchell Smith. And look at that. 46 car. You'll normally see that 46 car running in the top 10, but he's on a mission today. It looks like he's trying to take away ninth from Mr. Phonix Alex. Mr. Phonix Alex, he wrecked last week. And whoa, we had a lead change. 
Well, we had a lead change. Trent the Hedgy has just taken the lead in Pocono. And uh oh, Luke is trying to come back. Andrew Sidney has just taken away second from Red Bell. Trent the Hedgy blew an engine last week and didn't even get a chance to race. But he's raising his heart out this week. And I think Andrew Sidney is going to try to catch that number one car. And look at this. That's why Ant24 is trying to work on taking away third from Red Bell. Red Bell's stuck on the outside. That is not where she wants to be. As he just took away third. And Trent the Hedgy takes the white flag. Trent the Hedgy won a race earlier this year back at Las Vegas. He could try to go for his second win of the second cup season. If Andrew Sidney wants to catch him, he better do something. NASCAR at 24 continues to go in third. And there goes Superdog 316 taking away fourth from Red Bell. But right now, it's all about Chet the Hedgy. He doesn't have any competition right now. Uh-oh, and look at this. About it for a second. Whoa, NASCAR Attic 24, he is moving up in the field. If he had more time, I, I think he'd probably be a contender to win this race. But coming out of tur turn three and down the front straight away, Trent the Hedgy will win the 5-Hour Energy 500 at Pocono. Our first multi-winner in the second cup. Trent the Hedgy captures his second win of the second cup season. Second place is NASCAR Attic 24. Third place is Andrew Sidney. Fourth place is Superdog 316. Fifth place is Red Bell. Sixth place is Lisa Shears. Seventh is Mitchell Smith. Eighth is Logan Wilson. Ninth is Mr. Phoenix Alex. And rounding out the top ten is Das Blande. Congratulations to Trent the Hedgy for winning the Five Hour Energy 500. Okay, the 5-Hour Energy 500 at Pocono Raceway. We only had one caution, and we only had two lead changes between three drivers. Trent the Hedgy captures his second win of the second cup season after starting in ninth. And NASCAR added 24. Whoa, whoa, Trent the Hedgy and NASCAR added 24. They started side-by-side side in the fifth row, and they finished first and second. Andrew Sidney led the most laps, but I guess he just lost momentum, but he still ends up with a top five. I think that's his best finish. Superdog 316 comes out in fourth. Red Bell, our pole setter, finishes fifth. Lisa Shear, sixth. Mitchell Smith finishes seventh. Logan Wilson started 14th and moved up to eighth. Mr. Finest Alex drops to ninth. And Das Blunde started 16th and finished up with a top 10. And here's the rest of the field. Whoa, a good run for Tim I Rose 22. I guess um, that crash allowed him to get by and pass a lot of cars. He finishes 27th. Now, Steam Racer, I have no idea what happened to him. During the caution, he slowed down, but apparently he didn't get out of the race. But he finishes 26. Barney and Ward, Harvard Kevin 29, the past friend on two, Dyker Brabham and Raven Ladders, they were involved in that crash, but apparently they didn't retire. They were the last cars running. From 33rd on down, they will have DNFs. Adam Rose, Joe Dyson, Ducky Shears, Isaiah Sidney, Jason Dyson, Ty, Intimidator 88, who won the Coca-Cola 600, Jack Maiden, Sandy Fischel 16, and Jeremy Britt. And here are the point standings after 14 races. And look who just recaptured the points lead, NASCAR Attic 24. And Luke was behind him only by 59 points into a C4R who dodged that wreck. Dark Spike goes up to third in the past fan 02, drops down to fourth. 
Steam Racer, despite his little problem, he is fifth in the points. Mitchell Smith goes up to six. Superdog 316 is in seventh. Barney and War, eighth. Red Bell, ninth. Mr. Phonics Alex is in tenth. And then 11 and 12, that's Ken Griffith, who won last week, and Logan Wilson. And Trent the Hedgie, that win put him up a little bit. He's up to 14th now, but he's going to have a lot of work to do if he wants to get back in the top 10. Well, that's going to do it for Pocono. The second cup will see you next time when we go to Michigan.